We just had one of the biggest, most epic events that Xbox has ever put together. And usually, there's so many announcements during the show, we're able to make multiple videos talking about every single game and the announcements that are there. But today, I wanted to get into some of the leaks that might have happened during the weekend event. Because during these events, there's a lot of information floating around, not to mention interviews that executives have. And during this onslaught of information, something might slip by for us to follow as a leak. And this show was no different, and it's something that I think pinpoints the exact release date of the Xbox Series X. You know, the next generation Xbox console that we're all waiting for, and the console that will run all games at their best fidelity and best performance. Now, I did put something together from Phil Spencer, not to mention Microsoft themselves, and a couple other executives within Microsoft, who had a couple of release dates on some games that might hint at the release date of the Xbox Series X console. So while we love the show and we all love the awesome games being announced, not to mention some of the awesome gameplay that was shown, we still have so much more that we can sink our teeth into. And I'm excited to put everything together so we can get some sort of understanding of when we can get our hands on the new Xbox Series X. Because I know for a fact, a lot of you are just as excited as I am to play some of these games at 4K60 or 4K120 FPS. So let's get into these leaks and try to see if we can get a solid date of when the Xbox Series X will finally release. But like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. Alright, so let's get into these leaks. And to be honest, they're a little more of me putting things together, but also an announcement by Xbox themselves that might have shown exactly when the console will be coming out. So the first thing I want to talk about is Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dogs Legion. I know, I know, these games were not the Xbox show, but there's something I have to talk about that's been on my mind for a little while now. Which is when Ubisoft had their game show a few weeks ago, there was something that Phil Spencer said on that show that I couldn't get out of my head. Which was about Watch Dogs Legion, and it's coming out in late October, or to be exact, October 28th of this year. Now I bring this up because during the Ubisoft event, Phil Spencer talked about Watch Dogs being smart delivery and being able to buy that game for your Xbox One in late October and once the Xbox Series X comes out, it will be there with all its enhancements and work on that console. Now that helped me realize that the new console won't be coming out in October or September, like some other people figured it would. Instead it all but confirms that this will come out in November. Which brings me to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, a game that was highly anticipated and was on the same show and was shown on the Ubisoft stage. Yet Phil Spencer didn't bring that game up and just brought up Watch Dogs Legion. Now I know a lot of people might think that I'm looking too much into this, but again, I'm weird. I like that and I always connect the dots when I see something like this. And if you look at the release date of Assassin's Creed, it has a release date of November 16, 2020. And I know this game will have smart delivery and it will be ready for anyone that wants to upgrade their Xbox Series X later in the year or next year. But again, this brings up the question of why didn't Phil Spencer bring up this game along with Watch Dogs as games that we can buy once the Xbox Series X comes out, we can take our purchases with us. Could it be that Assassin's Creed Valhalla will release after the console releases? Or is the game releasing with the console? These questions I had for a couple of weeks almost were confirmed when the Xbox event ended because a lot of articles and Microsoft and insiders might have leaked the date by accident when they announced that the game Yakuza Like a Dragon will be a launch title for the Xbox Series X. And because of this, people have started to connect that the console might have this game launch on the same day which Xbox might have confirmed when they brought the release date of the game up on their website. And this website, along with countless others, brought it up. Here's what the article had to say. After building up anticipation for months, Microsoft finally opened the floodgates on Thursday of this week and gave us our first extended look at Xbox Series X games in action. We saw 10 minutes of Halo Infinite, got a glimpse of the next Forza Motorsport title, and the long-awaited return of Fable was officially confirmed. The Xbox Games Showcase was all about the games, as the name suggested, which means we didn't get any news about a release date for the Xbox Series X. But a new listing on the Microsoft Store might have spoiled the surprise. On Wednesday, a day before Microsoft Showcase, Sega announced that its turn-based RPG Yakuza Like a Dragon will launch in the US on Xbox One. PS4, and PC in November 2020. The publisher also revealed that the Xbox Series X version of the game will release on day one of the console's release date, while the PS5 version will come later. Interestingly enough, the Microsoft Store lists the game release date as November 12th. 
So there you have it. November 12th could be the day we finally get the Xbox Series X in our hands. And usually all of this information would be plenty of information to make a video or write an article. And it's been enough for a lot of people to make multiple articles about. But that wasn't the only thing that was hinted at. Instead, Tom Warren and Dina Bass had this to say on Twitter. Also, Bloomberg tech reporter Dina Bass may have caught Microsoft CFO Amy Hood off guard in an interview when she asked if the new console would launch during the November holidays. Microsoft CFO Amy Hood says new Xbox is still on track for the November holidays launch. Tom Warren, a known insider, asked this. Did she specifically say Xbox Series X and specifically say November? To which Dina Bass replies, it was in response to a question from me and I said new console and November holidays. Her answer was the single word, yes. And the article moves on to say this. Logic would dictate that both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X are coming out in November. Both Sony and Microsoft have already pegged holiday 2020 as the launch window for their next generation consoles. And November falls squarely within that window. It's also right in the middle of gift buying season. And in case you forgot, both the PS4 and Xbox One launched in mid-November exactly seven years ago. So November isn't much of a stretch. So when you take into account the Watchdog Legion and what Phil Spencer says, even though Assassin's Creed was on that show, then you take in the Yakuza game, you could start to see that the console is looking at an early to mid-November release date. And if you look at history, most consoles, including the PS4, launched around the same time, which the article points out here. Microsoft has since reached out to GameSpot to clarify that it has yet to announce an official release date for the Xbox Series X. But all of the clues are certainly pointing to November. Looking back to 2013, the PS4 launched on Friday, November 15th, and the Xbox One followed a week later on Friday, November 22nd. Sega hasn't actually confirmed that Yakuza Like a Dragon will be available on November 12th, but if it is, we wouldn't be surprised to see the Xbox Series X on store shelves on Friday, November 13th, 2020. The virtual shelves, anyway. Now, we all know that the PS4 launch and generation was one of the greatest console generations in history, and we have to give props to the PS4 for picking a very good launch date, not to mention providing great support with AAA games. I think Xbox is trying to attack this next generation a little different, with having Xbox Game Pass be the launching point of their platform. Then you throw in taking a page out of Sony's book with the launch date, and I find the launch date great because this holiday season, there's a lot of massive games like Watch Dogs or Assassin's Creed or even Cyberpunk that are launching in November. And when people are excited for a new game and it's a holiday season, they will be more open to buying a new console, especially since it has smart delivery and can run even better on the next console. Everything we're seeing is starting to point to that Xbox Series X is going to launch on November 12th or the 13th which would put them on a Thursday or a Friday. And if I had to guess, it would be the Thursday of that week. It would allow people to get the console and then enjoy it over the weekend and maybe buy a bunch of games to play on it or subscribe to Game Pass and get hundreds of games, not to mention Halo Infinite, which is going to be the biggest game of the year. So to put everything in together, do I think this date is real? Yes, I actually do because it makes too much sense. And I think it's the perfect date for a launch. I think Xbox is going to try and release their console before the PS5 is going to release, and I have a feeling whichever console announces their date first will have to move around, or they'll launch on the same day and have a head-to-head -head battle that I think will end up great for either company. So let's hope in August we get some confirmation about these dates from both Sony and Microsoft so we can all move forward with our plans and just get excited to get these consoles in our homes. But enough of what I think about all of this. Tell me what you think about all of this. Do you think these leaks are the date the Xbox Series X will launch? What date will be the best for the PS5 or the Xbox Series X to launch on? What games are you looking forward to seeing on your new Xbox console? Are you going to buy both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X day one? Or will you pick up one console first and get the other later? What games did you like from the Xbox showcase? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm stuck on Ghost of Tsushima. I've been playing it a little bit, have a bunch of hours in it, and because of that, I've been kind of stuck on my PS4 playing that game, and I find it very immersive, and I really think everybody should check it out. It's actually one of the best PlayStation games to come out in years. 
But tell me where you're playing. Are you working through your backlog? Are you playing Ghost of Tsushima? Are you playing something on your Xbox? Why don't you go down below and everybody tell me what games you're playing. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.